So once you are at your Wati dashboard, you can go to Flow Builder by clicking on these three lines and you can see the first option Flow Builder. Now you can create a new flow by just adding a category and then uh, clicking this green button here. Just put anything. Now you can start the flow by these three options. Generally, we ask a question. So I'm going to ask a question. And this flag here is very important as this is going to be, this is going to indicate which, uh, which option is your starting step. Suppose I have three options here and I put flag here. So this becomes my starting step of the flow or this becomes a starting step. Right now I want the question as a starting step. So I can delete all of this. Now there is delete here, duplicate, which should duplicate. And there is edit. So when we are starting, we can just um, ask a question and by greeting them. Now, after, in this question, if I want to specify the user's phone number or name, you could do that as well. You can click on variables for that. And you can add name. You could also add emojis. Now, answer variants. Answer variants are basically the answers or the options you would give to these questions that the user or client can choose. So suppose your company has pricings, so you could have an answer with or it could be now if I would in the future want to call back these answers, then I can store it in a variable and give it a name. So as this is a starting step, I would just give it starting answer. And I will tell you uh, how, how do we use this variable uh, in the next following steps. So this is our first question here. Now, to this, if someone chooses know the pricings, I can send a message. And now in a message, there is three options. Uh, you can upload a document, upload an image, or you can write a text. So, hi, thanks for choosing the question. Now the question, you could quote the question again by referring to the variable you just created. And your following answer then, which could be anything. What if someone chooses this? Then you could ask another question. Just anything. Um, So this could be another potential question and we can add answers to it. You could say parent company or sub could be anything. I'm gonna store this part of comp. And then you can further just choose anything. You could add a condition now a condition is uh, something that would rely on the previous question. So if I edit this, you can see that there is a condition here. So if, um, if the part of company answer is equal to parent, then you would say,
this is parent if it's not then you can say this is not parent and with all these you can create your flow for any domain or anything that you're working for uh, to test this uh, you would have to firstly save your flow oh so it says start node was about okay uh, so we have to create a start node so this is the starting step save your flow now to test it you have to go to automation you have to add a keyword can add anything and say this is 100% matching now the next step and you can choose the flow you've just made which was sample 1 in this case and save so now you have done and when you go to team inbox and if someone writes uh test flow build which you could see here and there'll be two options what if the user chooses two now then they get another option now if they choose one you get the final answer which is this is parent and Further, there could be more steps that could go as our flow also has another part to the first question. Okay, so that is about it for flow building. Thank you so much.